My name is Lacey from Eaton B and I'm 16 years old. Hi, my name is uh, Gabriel Peponi. Uh, I'm uh, in class E10B. Hi, I'm Amaya Bat from E10A. My name is Keisha Sinha and I'm in grade 10. This is my personal project and my personal project title is Poetry Photograph. And I, I was learning about uh, how to use the camera and the function of camera. And my product is uh, taking picture of traditional customers of aesthetic minority in China and this is one of my uh, product. The thing I learned from the personal project is uh, how to use the camera and also how to communicate with my model and teach them how to uh, be better pulse, like uh, how they stand and how they sit. Uh, my personal project is actually building a PC from scratch. So uh, I started out by like uh, re doing my research, uh, like uh, asking PC experts on uh, what to do to build my PC and uh, here's my final product on uh, what I did. One thing I'd like to share is that uh, I hope that this inspires other students to uh, also like build a PC from scratch, especially since I think technology will be a, a big thing in the future. Uh, so maybe this is just like a, a simple way to improve your technology skills. Yeah, it's not always easy at the start to do something uh, you want to do. It may seem easy, uh, like at the start, I, I thought it was easy, but uh, it actually takes time uh, and a lot of research and a lot of effort that you need to put into this. So uh, I'd say that you had to plan out uh, before s starting what you want to do. My project was making a quilt. Uh, basically, I wanted to recycle old fabric, so I used my mom's old clothing and I cut them up into uh, three different sizes and then I sewed them together to create a quilt. And then on top, I kept like these sorts of patterns to make it more interesting. There were lots of challenges because sometimes this, um, the stitch wouldn't go straight and then I'd have to go over it or I'd cut it the wrong size and I'd have to cut another fabric. I learned how to stitch properly and how to make uh, different choices based on colors and designs and how to uh, size different fabrics. I recently completed the personal project and my project was to power up your game with yoga. I decided to learn the different poses of yoga for athletes and how it will enhance their performance. As you know, yoga has many mental and physical benefits. For my product, I use the social media account Instagram uh, to reach out to a larger audience. My project niche target audience, um, the young and Gen Z, as they tend to consume more visual content. I also designed this brochure for the junior kids as Accessing social media platforms is a challenge for them. And this is how it looks on the inside. They can read this and incorporate these asanas in their lifestyle. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is my journey. In the beginning, I remember being sore, but as I practiced more, I got better at it. In short, yoga has changed me as a person. I feel more calm, relaxed, energetic and motivated. Basically, yoga is something I had never done before and I came to this topic like in a very different way. At first, uh, when deciding my topics for personal project, I um, looked at my interest and, well, tennis was obviously my interest as I play the sport. And for tennis, I targeted my weaknesses and I thought, how can I improve on them? So instead of going for more uh, physical challenges, I go, went for something more uh, like a spiritual discipline so that that will help me be calm in life. Uh, I heard a lot about yoga and I did a lot of research on it. And I thought, let me try yoga, something different. 